This is it right here, baby. what it do salute to my real BRC folk salute to plug gang aka flood gang yo let me uh, say before I get off into this video I just want to say the theme of this we talking football just want to rap a child for a second so I, I say we talking football because I gotta specify let me just say, I know a lot been going on prior to or whatnot, but like I say, once again, we talking football, all right? I seen, I came across a video from DGM. Let me say, uh, salute to D, salute to DGM. Bang up video, you know what I'm saying? Where he uh, touched on the Glover Quinn interview. He was on the NFL Network, I believe it was. I watched it. I watched the whole shit myself afterwards. But in that video, and even though Glover Quinn wasn't trying to, he kind of helped me understand <laughs> why a lot of people feel what, what it is with the Caldwell thing. And as far as DGM, I mean, hell. Bobby just said, basically, he just broke down what I've been trying to say for a minute as far as Matt Patricia go. And I know a lot of y'all, I know a lot of y'all Want to see Patricia gone just like that? Cause the first two years been. But if y'all listen, if y'all just y'all watch the video, you ain't gotta watch Mobby video. Just look at that interview and just you know grasp what he was saying and whatnot. This overall thing, like a lot of y'all say, Caldwell, he was a winning coach. I mean, Caldwell won games for us. Don't get me wrong. When you say he was a winning coach, define what a winning coach is. I mean, what exactly did he win? We didn't win a division. We never won a playoff game. What did we win? And hey, don't get me wrong. To be fair to Jim Caldwell, he only had technically one bad season when we lost two games flukishly. Emphasis on flukish. We all know what games it was. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get to the real premise of why y'all don't like want Patricia here. And I get it, because y'all feel a black man, black head coach, he got shafted. You got to look at it from a football standpoint, y'all. And I get it. I do. Now, if Matt Patricia's here four or five years, and he doesn't even so much as make a playoff, all right, then that's y'all going to be validated. Matt Patricia has a five-year deal, whether y'all like it or not, y'all. Bob Quinn is not going nowhere, whether y'all like it or not, y'all. Here's the thing, man. And you can't stress enough. We all know how bad we was through most of the year last year. We was what? 31 27 at one point? 27? And what did we finish out the year as? We finished, we rounded out the top 10 defensively. Because Matt Patricia had his hand and his stamp on the defense. He had us moving. He had us moving to a, a certain rhythm and whatnot. Now, fast forward, you know, at one point or another, a lot of DV, a few DV members, we did videos talking about the Lions and they was crying about how Patricia had us practicing in the cold, practicing in the winter, which I even went on record saying, look, man, he's trying to condition y'all to be winners, trying to condition y'all to play better. This man come from a winning umbrella. <laughs> Not to mention. <coughs> Not to mention. It's players who Matt Patricia cut. You know? Marquise Pouncey for one. That even gave he gave Patricia his props. Like this dude no defense. Trust me when I tell you, it's not Patricia. It ain't Patricia. In fact, it's been a few other cats that echo them sentiments. And I can believe that. You know what I'm saying? I know Patricia's not perfect. He gotta figure some things out. And you notice, you see his facial. I seen his 
I see his facial expressions, his facial expressions during a lot of these games. He cares, believe me. The man just cool under pressure. He know what it is. For all we know, Bob Quinn knew what it is going into the season. Matt Patricia knew what he was going for, truly. Definitely. And maybe Martha Ford even knew. She probably knew. Think about it, y'all. The man got a five-year deal when he got here. So they basically giving him time to do some shit. Now, hopefully next year we start making some strides. And I understand why a lot of y'all feel the way I do, I do. Because Bob Quinn did say 9-7 isn't good enough. Last year, won six games. This year, we'll be hard-pressed to win four. We might finish out the year with five victories. I know. I know. But here's my thing. I, I'm going to say it again. I never was on the fire Patricia train. I'm not on the fire Patricia train. The fact is, for what I've been watching on TV, and these are my views, y'all. This is me. You know what I'm saying? He's putting guys, he's putting people in position to succeed. They simply not cashing in. That's just real talk, y'all. For real. Which brings me to what I'm about to say. Which brings me to what I'm about to say. Now you think about it. And another thing. Before I get to what I'm about to say. I also, I didn't say it quite, you know. I also kind of alluded to it. Previous videos. Not recent, but old videos. How you can also make the case. Because Mobby alluded on that. And if you just go back. Go back and retract the shit, y'all. You can clearly make the case. Jim Caldwell... He depended on Matt Stafford often. Let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? And for the most part, Stafford did save Caldwell's bacon quite a few occasions, game-wise. I know Stafford, he was upset when Caldwell got fired. We all know about that. He wasn't too vocal, but it was kind of, it was little reports how he felt about it. You know, whatever. Now, moving forward... And you know what I'm saying? Think about it. You know, Quadri Diggs in Seattle now. Doing <laughs> Ziggy Ansa in Seattle now. Somebody else that played for us is there too. They got three ex lions doing their thing right now, pretty much. But you know, fuck Ziggy. You still ain't getting no props to me. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you gotta get rid of anybody that's on this team that was under that Caldwell umbrella, that Caldwell tree. You gotta move them. You gotta get rid of them. Whether it be Darius Slay. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't mind seeing going at this juncture. You know, I, I, you know, I love Darius. He's one of my guys. I think it's time to part ways with him. That's just me. Yeah, but anybody under that Caldwell tree, we got to remove them. That's phase one. I definitely agree with DGM on that. That's a fact. I guarantee you, we do that, we'll start seeing some results. And think about this, y'all. This what this what really what makes me scratch my head about this team. Which also it gives me that little uh a holding on as far as moving forward. As bad as we've been, even with this year, injuries and all, whatever the case may be, guys getting cooked left and right, mediocre cats on the field who shouldn't even be on the field just yet. Despite everything going on, and without our guy under center, with the exception of one game, we've been in each and every last one of these games. That's always been a thing for the Lions, though. It's been plenty of games where we've been depleted in the motherfucker, but we compete somehow. We always be within a possession or two, you know. If anything, whatever our record is now, I feel it should be flipped the opposite. And I'm still pissed about that Cardinals game. I told y'all, man, I did not feel right. That Cardinals game, for me, that gave me an indication of what this season was going to be. And goddamn, I was praying this was just one of those knee-jerk reactions Mondo Ray Moore has. But nah, I was vindicated game by game, even when they was winning. You see how they was winning. You just knew. This ain't it, y'all. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be talking draft and shit like these idiots is. 
And I really wish y'all stopped this Jalen Hurts shit, bro. Lions is not trading up to get him. We're not getting Jalen Hurts, y'all. Would y'all please stop this Bobby's World shit? Stop it. Yo. <laughs> but anyway, shout out to DGM. Good video, man. As far as the one pride, man. Hey, look, man. We know what it is. Me, personally, I don't think the Lions get no more than the number five pick. As far as the early lottery go. But shout out to Mondo Raymore. Shout out from Mondo Raymore, my bad. Can't shout yourself out. What type of shit is that? Salute from the homie B Dub. Salute to all the subs. I fucks with y'all. Cause y'all fucks with your boy. Shout out to the team. DV motherfucking E. Without them, there's no me. Shout out to the people in the real BRC. Flood Gang, aka Flood Gang. Y'all know what to do. It's your man Mondo Raymore. And I'm out of here, y'all. Salute. Bone Jones. What it do, bro? Positive energy, what it do, bro? Willie Bean, what it do, bro? Intelligent Cycle, Chris Wink, my man Jay White. Shout out to everybody, man. God bless Shannon K. What's up, Kawana? Peace.